I welcome you all for this course. Today we will see the next topic that is iterative design and prototyping. Myself Alok Kumar, I am assistant professor in Government College of Engineering, Dharmapuri. So here in second unit we will see next topic that is iterative design and prototyping. So in iterative design and prototyping, requirements for an interactive system cannot be completely specified from the beginning of the life cycle. The only way to be sure about some features of the potential design is to build them and test them out on real users. The design can then be modified to correct any false assumptions that were revealed in the testing. An iterative design process tries to overcome the inherent problems of incomplete requirements specification by cycling through several designs incrementally improving upon the final product with each pass there are three different main approaches to prototyping the first one is throw away prototyping second one is evolutionary prototyping the third one is incremental prototyping so here firstly we will see that is throw away prototyping in throw away prototyping the prototype is built and tested the design knowledge gained from this exercise is used to build the final product, but the actual product is discarded. Throwaway prototyping is to ensure that the system requirements are validated and that they are clearly understood. So this one we can see here with the help of this diagram. Here we are analyzing the requirements, whatever we have gathered. After that, we are developing a prototype. If we, after that, next we are going to do evaluate so if prototype is okay then we will specify the system next this one is we are going to develop the software or we are saying here implementation we are going to do here next one we will see whether system is well we are going for validation whether system is okay or not if not then again here we will do some changes at last if system is okay then we will deliver the product to the customer so this one is throw away prototyping here next we will see that is evolutionary prototyping in evolutionary prototyping the prototype is not discarded and serves as the basis for the next iteration of design in this case the actual system is seen as evol evolving from a very limited initial version to its final release Evolutionary prototyping also fits in well with the modifications which must be made to the system and arise during the operation and maintenance activity in the life cycle. Using this prototyping, it delivers the system fast manner. Here, this one we can see with the help of this diagram. So, this one is here we are going uh, requirement gathering we are doing. Here, after that, we are going to analyze the requirements based on analysis of requirements here we are going to develop the prototype after that we are giving that prototype to the for client evaluation if it's okay based on client then here design process the design is uh, going to do here this one is else some improvement is there then again here requirement analysis some changes will happen and based on that again prototype uh, changes will happen so next this one is designing and after designing here implementation will happen for that uh, requirements here this one is integration and testing and next phase this one is maintenance this one is the evolutionary prototyping model in next model we will see that is incremental prototyping in this the final product is built as separate components one at a time there is one overall design for the final system but it is partitioned into independent and smaller components the final product is then released as a series of products each subsequent release including one or more components this uh, prototyping is more flexible and less costly to change scope and requirements here this one we, we can see with the help of this diagram here this one is define system deliverables after that this one is design system architecture here going to do architecture here this one is specify system increment next this one is build system increment next this one is validate increment this next in integrate increment after that here we are going to do 
validate the system if system is okay if there is no any problem then we will deliver the system else again here we will specify the system whatever changes we have to do again we will do so this one is incremental prototyping after each release we are going to do we are going to get some uh, prototype so like this man manner this one is incremental prototyping next one we will see what are the problems in prototyping models so first one that we that is time so building prototype takes time and if it is in through away prototyping it can be seen as precious time taken away from the real design task the second one is planning most project managers do not have the experience necessary for adequately planning and costing a design process which involves prototyping the next one is non-functional features often the most important features of a system will be non-functional ones such as safety and reliability and these are precisely the kind of features which are sac sacrificed in developing a prototype the next one is contracts the design process is often governed by contractual agreements between customer and designer which are affected by many of these managerial and technical issues all these are the problem that we face in prototyping models so in next lecture we will see the next topic thank you